This is a guitar lesson for Break My Heart by Dua Lipa. It was three, four. All right, aim to make this one as easy as possible for you. So there's open chords, some rhythms. Uh, if you wanna see the chords and the lyrics all in one go to have, uh, there's a free download above this video. It should pop up right about now, or it's in the description below. All right, so we'll get into the lesson. And uh, one last thing, what other songs do you wanna see taught of Dua Lipa's on guitar? I have a few others done, you see them below, but um, let's start a conversation. Just post a comment below. Now, taking off the capo, there is no capo in this song. Right, so the open chords, as you'll see, it's E minor. Then we got a C major seven. Disclaimer, if this is your first time seeing a C major seven, don't be alarmed. Long chord names aren't that scary or that bad at times. So C major seven chord is basically a C chord and you lift off your index finger. Now make sure you miss that top string. We do not want to hear it. So that's what we get. Okay, and even for now, if, you, if it's a bit too much to add in, just play C chord, it's perfectly okay. We get C major seven, then on B minor, you have three options here. The simplest one is to do a B minor seven type chord. Okay, that's like an A chord with the index finger moved up and the ring finger moved down. And of course, miss the top string again. But that's one option, that's the simple first option. The second option is to make your B minor this way. Okay, and I'll have these written below. Or the third way, if you want, if you are an adventurous guitarist and you know bar chords and you're not gonna hurt yourself, try this one. Okay, now, for the purpose of this video, I am gonna use the bar chord one. Just, it's the one I'm comfiest with myself. So. B minor, then we get D, then E minor. Now, out of any change in the whole song, you're gonna see the B minor, D, E minor is the quickest thing to watch. So we get this, it goes. I've always been the one to say the first goodbye. Had to love and lose a hundred million times. Okay, so that's million times. Right, that is <clears throat> the chord change to watch. Because what's gonna happen is when we add in the rhythm, because we're not doing that, like we're not just strumming single strums, we're going. That's what we're doing. So that's why the chord change is worth working on. So we got E minor from the start, that's all good. C major seven, then a hundred million times. Had to get it wrong to know just what I like. Now I'm falling. Okay, same stuff in a loop. Pop music, if you listen to pop music, it's like the same chords in a loop. It's the production that makes it sound super cool. Uh, so that is that section so far. Now we're gonna go into the rhythm next of the verse. Okay, now here's the story. Let's read this. Uh, the D's and U's underneath are for down and up. So that's fine. Uh, the thing to watch here is the count. So quite simply, if you count it without the as and the ands up above, it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now that's pretty okay to do. We know that. But we've got to add in the a ah in that first bar. So it goes one, two, three, a four. It adds a bit of a swing to it. So it goes one, two, three, a four. And that'll be with your E minor chord. So you could go like this. One, two, three, a four. To get that first. But remember that we're gonna put an upstroke on the A there. You see the U underneath it? So it goes one, two, three, a four. Like that. Okay, and remember, swing from the wrist. And get that bit first. So again, you break down the count. So if you want to count it with me first, it goes one, two, three, a four. So if you want to say that, and then add in your E minor chord. One, two, three, a four. 
Now, the next bar goes as follows. It goes one and two and a three, four. So I count that one more time. One and two and a three, four. It's the one and two and a that I'd watch. So it goes one and two and a three, four. And I mute it on the three. I stop it ringing out. One and two and a three, four. So if there's a party at the minute going, this doesn't sound like it at all. It's like full of like counting and it's full of like random stuff here. Wait till you hear it sped up. Okay, it's what gives it that tight sound. So as you're strumming, be sure that you're not like swinging wide, like doing the wiper thing as I call it. Okay, so just keep it nice and tight, strumming only with your thumb and index finger on the pick. And this is how it sounds sped up. So it goes three, four. Okay, so it sounds a bit more like it now. But here's the deal. That second bar, in my experience, that's what will require the most attention. Take it slow and steady, build it up from there. Now we've talked about it for the E minor. So if we look back at the lyrics, you'll see it's E minor for a lot of the first part of the song. And then on the B minor to D part, that's when you play that second bar. So it goes like this. You'll go B minor on the second bar now, you'll go B minor on the one and then two and a. On the two and, you're going to strum D. Two and, and the A, you're on E minor. That is the change of the lesson to watch. So. Okay, so take a while on that and get so used to strumming down on your D and up on your E minor. Like that. So we get this on that bar. One and two and a three, four. So again, drill that one like mad. So basically we've two lines in that first. The first line, as you can see by the lyrics, we do both bars of rhythm on E minor. So it goes, one, two, three, four. Dun, 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 dun. Then the next bar line goes C major seven to that B minor D E minor. So it goes. Good news. After all that rhythm, the story is there's no crazy rhythms going on in the pre-chorus. Okay, so you just get your C chord and it goes Center of attention, you know you can get whatever you want from me Whenever you want it, baby Okay, so it's just single strums. Now, one thing to watch is when you're strumming Look at your right hand just as an exercise And get your C chord And as you strum it, please be sure that you're like making every string count So you're going You'll actually hear the strings go crum. It makes it last longer. So it goes three, four. Center of attention, you know. See, nice and long. And it's four beats. One, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm afraid of all the things you can do to me. If I would have known it, baby. Now, that chord, it might be a bit unfamiliar. B sus four. Now, the thing I said earlier about um, not being scared of chord names um, because they sound unusual. This one, um, if you're a bit scared of it, I wouldn't blame you. It's a bit of a stretch, a bit of a weird one. We're kind of edging into bar chords. So if you play bar chords, it'll be fine. If you've been playing mostly open chords, it's one to watch, okay? I'll give you an easy one to do first, a bit of a cheat workaround. Forward. So for the B sus4, just get an A major chord and slide it up two frets, one, two, and then get your ring finger and move it up a fret. 
If anybody can hear that, that is my dog in the background. She will make a future episode. Okay, so now we got that A shape moved up to one, two, move the ring finger up a fret. And only hit the three strings, the D, the G, and the B. Okay, that is one you could do. Uh, in the chord chart, in the download, this is the one that's in it. You hear it's a lot fuller, a lot bassier. So now we got those chords going on, we got the B sus4. Um, you have that little workaround if you want it. Uh, I would not do any other B chords on it. B minor won't really work. Uh, B7, it'll be okay, but there's a darkness to that B sus4 that makes it worth working for. So now, the chorus, last bit, but you've the work done already. So it's the same rhythm we had before, the busy one. Okay, and it goes like this, three, I would have stayed at one, because I was doing better on, but when you said hello, then... Sorry, I had to focus on the plane there. Okay, so I'll do it slower. So it goes like this. Okay, and again, you notice it's a C major seven, B minor, D, E minor. Um, a little tip for that, right? is whenever you've any chord changes that might be causing you a bit of a hassle, just take the sequence. So let's say if it's C major seven, let's say if you feel it starts at C major seven, just with your left hand, drill this, go C major seven, B minor, D, E minor. You are just practicing the movements. And you can even do this like watching TV or whatever, you know? The reason I'm a big fan of that is it's because we take the rhythm out and we are just focusing on one thing, our chord change. Okay, so that will help too. And that is all the song, Break My Heart by Dua Lipa. So again, watch the chords, the rhythm, again, like I say about some of the weekend songs, it might seem a little tricky, but man, it's so worth working for. So make sure you just break it down, get the count, rewatch that section of the video as many times as you need until you can say the count in your head without even reading it and then put the chords in on top. All right, so thanks many for watching. If you made it this far, well done. Just apply the stuff. Remember, please subscribe, like, share the lessons. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you very soon.